Let's get started. You may learn something. <laughs> Fine, so let's talk about hip hop. Cool. <laughs> um, my name is Araceli, and I am getting a master's in cognitive neuroscience, and I am also a social entrepreneur. Well, I'm gonna sound like a dickhead. <clears throat> everything interests me. I find everything about this planet interesting, because it is. I mean, just something as simple and as benign, that all we, as we think could be as benign as blinking, is a beautiful and amazing mechanism that you and I will never be able to make. And I find that so interesting and fascinating. Everything else that we do as humans I find really interesting. I've now developed the phases of intelligence, so, that, so people that we would observe are highly intelligent. And I'm not talking an academic intelligence, I am talking a interactive intelligence to a certain extent. Um, so the first phase is you come into a new environment, a new situation, and you know that it's a new. The, the people that would I would classify as intelligent go from I'm scared to Okay, how do I interact? Quick, so the quicker you can do that, the quicker you can move away from fear and the quicker you can move away from saying things like, I don't want this, I don't want this change, um, denying it, um, being against it, because we all do that. We, so the quicker you can just go, right, fine, that's what it is. How do I now interact with this new problem? How do I interact with the new environment? And that's technically called resilient, highly resilient people are what I would call highly intelligent people as well. So you get into the new environment, you adapt to it very quickly, then from there, you begin to take in data and observe different things and asking quite good questions, intelligent questions of why and how and you know juxtaposing and comparing and contrasting. Then you start to, to accumulate that data. Then you start to create tools, resources, knowledge on how to interact with this data. Then you start to create the solutions. But a lot of us just go straight from either new, don't want it, and then that struggle, you don't move. And that's when you're, yeah, you're batting up against the wall. And then the other thing, I think the next number of block is that you then get to an environment and you literally, it's like, landing in the rainforest and then you just take off running to try to get out of it instead of going okay well where's the sun coming from okay i can't see the sun but fine can i see how the plants are growing that'll tell me you know can i hear the water so i can at least see the flow of the water whether it's going upstream downstream you know being you know because the next thing that people do is they'll get to an environment they'll either try to plot through it or they'll just you know start staring at a rock rather than understanding how to observe. It's the only music that I can turn on that still talks about, quite literally and openly, about struggle, about literally being able to put one foot in front of the other and getting somewhere. That makes me happy. I, I, I want you know, I think we, part of the whole thing of, like I said, of why we come to think, what we feed our brain. You know, to me, culturally, that's very important. To me, that music carries a lot of, a lot of soul. I think it is, I don't think it's correct to, to think that suffering is something bad. I think actually suffering is, is an amazing tool um, because it makes you what I would qualify as a superhuman. You know, those, 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 as I said, those little girls that have gone through those big problems at such a young age, they're not victims. They're actually getting tools that, you know, that most people don't get and they become very resilient. They become very, very well-rounded, very empathetic, very amazing human beings. And, um, and I think that, you know, that's my correlation with hip hop is that a lot of the people that, 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 have created hip hop come from very difficult backgrounds and and yet they're they're resilient and they're surviving so I actually find that very positive mm -hmm. and and I find that um, almost um, soothing and plus you know the beats like I love I think I guess 
scientifically, my theory is that what we like to listen to correlates very much to kind of early rhythms that we listen to, you know, um, because we are the first thing that we hear is a rhythm. It's, the, it's, it's our mother's heartbeat. So music is very important because of rhythm. And you like certain music because of that rhythm, literally how that rhythm then interacts with your heart. And, um, and to me, that's what I listened to since I was really young. So it's at the rhythm that I like to move. It is at the rhythm that I like to, almost like at the rhythm that I like to live life. I love that, that thing that hip hop makes you do, that nodding of your head. It's like, mm, and then you, and then you just like nodding and moving. It's quite a soothing um, mechanism, I think. Like when I can hear it and I just start to nod my head, all of a sudden it's just like, yeah, yeah exactly. It's a re relaxation, you feel it. And it, it is, you, you feel it in you. Um, no other music. Isn't I mean, modern music does that to me. I mean, when I put on some like Ray Charles and stuff, that does it to me as well. But In English, we don't have the positive correlation to suffering. There was a quote that I that I saw yesterday. I don't know who it's from, but it said that we learn when we're unhappy it's when we do our most learning. Again, this is if you're, again, intelligent, if you're astute. You can, you can either take the suffering and let it bring you down and teach you nothing, because there's a lot of people that don't learn anything from it, or you can take the suffering to go, okay, right. It's what makes you resilient. It's what teaches you in that you are being given the right so the problem that you are given to solve at that moment in time is to give you the tools that you need for that next step. Mm -hmm. Because if, when you are faced with a really tough problem that quote unquote makes you unhappy, makes you suffer, you can let it make you suffer and you can let it make you unhappy or you can flip it and go, right, okay, what are you about to teach me? What am I about to learn? Because you do, you have to learn to get yourself out of that hole. So you think, okay, well, what am I going to have to learn to be able to get out of that? And then essentially, from a philosophical perspective, you mm -hmm. should be like, right, thanks for that, because before I didn't have that knowledge, I didn't have those tools, now I do. Now I can be a better functioning human. And, and it's having that, that better correlation, because I mean, even in athleticism, for example, you know, that's why, you know, until you feel pain in your muscles, that soreness, you're not working yourself hard, you're not building that muscle. And I think it's the same thing from a philosophical perspective. Problems and suffering give you that mental muscle, which is why I see that people that have gone through tough situations that can get themselves out, they've got amazing brains. It's almost like an athletic type of brain. Mm. Um, you know, what you would see, you know, an athlete with an amazing physique, mm -hmm is what I think, how I correlate when I see somebody who's gotten themselves through through a really tough time into, into, into something better. Yes, I do think it's an essential. And the reason I like it better than, but better than even psychology or, or anything like that, what I like about neuroscience and giving people that knowledge is that you're giving people a manual to how they work. But you show people this is how your brain works, then that allows people to be able to say, okay, well, given these tools that I have, I can now do this or this with it. It's giving people a bit more choice and a bit more understanding. That I think with life, as long as you are trying, you are engaging and you are moving forward, you're good. Everything else, I don't think you need to worry about. Like, what, where the next step is coming from, where the next thing is coming from, what you're gonna forget about that. Just know that today, you're trying, you're good. Keep on. Yeah. <laughs>